Sundays, 7 p.m. Okay, it's your boy Lico. I'm rolling with Yvette. And listen, Vince, you heard. Holla at y'all. Peace. Hey guys, welcome to the Dairy Vet Show. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. So, did you guys see that eclipse today? Yeah. I hope you guys were looking at the eclipse with your glasses, your special sunglasses, unlike Mr. Donald Trump. (laughs) I was like, is he trying to be blind? It was some amazing pictures out there today. Yes, yes, it was. Wow. I got me some. I mean, it's really a great time to be a part of... Why were we at 1998? Because I don't remember the eclipse. I was in elementary school <laughs> <laughs> okay so that about explains it that's why i don't have much information but okay. what's been up it's an exciting day yes monday <laughs> monday <laughs> we all Back made to it to monday DC. yes they are wow. at school already it is about time these babies been out long enough well i, I still got mine at home i'm still you know <laughs> i wasn't one of those lucky parents. So they in Maryland school, obviously. Yes, yeah. in Arundel County, yeah. When do Maryland go back to school? In Arundel County goes back September 5th. Oh, so okay. that Tuesday after Labor Day, they'll be back. Okay. Bright and early, they'll be, on the, they'll oh, be ready. Okay. So what else been up, Mrs. Rose? Well, you know, Mr. Dick Gregory died. Yeah. So uh, sad. Wow. Right. Rest in peace, Dick Gregory. Yes. An amazing activist, yes. comedian. So funny. Just yeah. So funny. Hilarious. And I, I had the pleasure of meeting him one time. Oh, I just really? don't have a picture. Like everybody was on IG. Like they showing their pictures. Up. Like, come on. Yes. Mm. No, that picture is going to be worth a thousand words, but he's definitely going to be missed. Yes. And um, wow. Right. You know, I liked um, what he one of the quotes he said is not verbatim but he was saying you know make sure that you do realize that racism and sexism is still alive, it's still alive but don't yeah. let it hinder you don't let that be the reason you so called you know hold yourself back so and another thing that he usually says is stay woke right, he has this right. quote on IG and mm-hmm. I thought I had it in my phone today but you know um just go and do some research you know it, it it's really 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 a sad time you know 84 years old and um i'm sure he didn't expect to be here forever he said right. he didn't want to be here forever right right but um he made a huge impact you know listen vision live did a four-hour broadcast on him oh really so i'm sure everybody can go to youtube and check that out okay um, you know that was really interesting mm-hmm. he, he definitely will be missed right so. right yeah oh jerry lewis died the comedian? yeah comedian yeah he was also an activist as well so was he yeah wow i didn't know that i know he uh donated to a lot of the marathons yeah and um he was a huge spoke spokes advocate for that so Mm -hmm. may he rest in peace as well we are losing people we are you know 2016 was a big year of loss for you know multiple celebrities hope you know 2017 won't be like that yeah so Um, I was on the way in here and we, I heard the DC mayor, you remember a couple of weeks ago, we were like, slow down. They're like, slow down DC. Kids are back in school. Oh yeah. I saw Take your time. Yeah. Yeah. I almost want to be a poster child for it. Slow down. (laughs) I can't stand it. That's my pet peeve. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Uh, we got a lot to get into today. It's, it's a amazing show today. We're going to do nothing but live talk. Okay. Cause this is something we couldn't do last week, uh, with the show that we actually had and we couldn't do the show and we didn't do the giveaways oh and you we know you guys love those giveaways yeah uh you know we have a a subscriber today Ah. by the name of kimberly james so kimberly Kimberly. won a bag let me get that bag right there please tamisha can you get that bag kimberly james i need you to go to dearyvetsays.com and i need you to put your phone number in or give me a call at 301 six seven nine nine one five nine and the white bag as well she has this one and the white purse yeah so you know i, I we gotta give back yes. that's what the show is Thank about you. it's all about community this is for you kimberly Damn. james when you call you'll be styling 
popping and profiling. Yes, girl. Looking yes. fly, looking fly. And we have another giveaway as well later in the show. Yep. So uh, stay we're gonna, tuned, guys. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get that person to actually call in 301-679-9159. And if you are just moving into your own apartment, maybe mm-hmm. your first apartment, I'm gonna pay their October rent. Oh snap! Snap! That's how oh, we do Angie. it. It's yes. all about giving back. Yeah. All, we also have some appliances here for you to move in. We have an amazing crock pot, a toaster, a can canister. Oh wow! An electrical can opener, mm-hmm. and we're gonna hook you up. We're gonna we have a welcome rug for you. I just couldn't bring all the stuff in, but we right. have it. You so. might not even need a housewarming. Yeah. I mean, well, you might. Still well, you better at least. One. Can yeah. I get a plate of chicken fried chicken, chicken meatballs or something? <laughs> <laughs> I want to go. So, what else been going on this week? Well, you know, um, last weekend they had those riots and the protests in yeah. Charlottesville. You were Virginia. down there this week. Yes. How did that? How how was that? Well, I was in Chesterville for training, and that's actually 16 minutes from oh. Charlottesville. Mm-hmm. And I happened to be, you know, with some of the Virginia State troopers, and you know, the two troopers that died in the yeah. helicopter crash they were from you know where i was at and oh, they wow yeah when um a officer falls they decorate their cars they mm-hmm. leave flowers and balloons mm-hmm. so every morning that i'm going to this training class we, we were driving by these vehicles until after the funeral so it's just a real sad emotional experience for yeah. something that didn't even have to happen because yeah. of those protesters and it's just it's a sad time in america right it's, now guys. It's, it really is um we there is absolutely no room for hate right you know at, at, at this point in time when the world is such in in a turmoil right, right. you know po- you know the political w- world is just gone crazy yeah um, it has. you know we have a president that refuses to take guidance from the people that are in his on his team right i mean they're you know? so divided and okay and that's what happens when your reality starts this is not right. scripted right mr president this is our lives this is america well you know they're trying to you know use the 25th amendment and say that he's not competent to be the president wow and believe it or not he does not appear to be anytime they tell you do not look at the sun directly <laughs> during the eclipse and they have photos <laughs> of you squinting up there even your son knew not to do that but you're still i was like this you man talking about that meme that was on ig <laughs> this man has no sense you know it's like sir we're gonna need you to get it together you have an entire world to take care of control yeah. that means you can't do it alone that's right. like me you think we can do this show by ourselves no there's somebody over top of us somebody over top of them right, somebody right, over there right. that's just the way it works and if you don't know something ask yeah and O-M-G. i was watching his press conference and at first you know any other time trump tweets immediately he's like i was waiting for all the facts since when did you wait for the facts mr trump since when Mm -hmm. like that's just not in your character to wait for the facts so you take two days and then you say this generic statement that clearly someone else wrote for you yeah and then you come back (laughs) and back yes i guess he got a phone call from some of his supporters (laughs) and they were like well we can't be having you doing this and then he says it's it's both your faults I was like, that's like a fake friend. That's a friend that starts an argument between other people. Yeah. And then says, it's both your faults. But really, he started it. I mean, it's just crazy. It is. It's, you know, it's, it's. It, it's baffling to it like really 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 is try to wrap your head around like people's minds yeah yeah and he's at the 35 percent approval rating yeah it, you sure still at 35 that's what they said this morning 20 so. it's really low oh well you know it's just a discussion that we're gonna stay on top of yeah. meanwhile mr president the world is watching you the children yes. are watching you our generations are watching you yeah please get it together get the help in the knowledge that you need this is not the apprentice right no sir this is real well hopefully world. he'll be fired shortly <laughs> hopefully they'll take if miss maxine out. waters has her way yes. it's going down come in, on miss waters in the TMB. absolutely oh mj what i was i'm gonna tell you what happened to me a couple of days ago i okay. was feeling terrible oh no i had an upper respiratory infection mm-hmm 
And I went to the doctor, you know, got some medication. You're going to be fine. Woo, woo, woo. So I said, he said, stay off for a couple of days. But the warrior that I am, I'm like, no. You know, I got yeah, a listen to the doctor. I know I should, right? <laughs> I said, you know, like the little choo choo chan. I think I can. I think I can. Right, I think right. I can. So I go into work, just, you know, regular day. It was a little hot. You know, the humidity yeah, was it's crazy. crazy yeah. So, you know, we, we current all that stuff or whatever. Right. And I think that's what did it. But this muscle spasm had hit, had hit me. Oh, wow. And I was like, is this the end? Oh, my. I hit the <laughs> new edition. God, are you my friend? Oh, my gosh. It was crazy. So I get to the emergency room, and they go, it's a muscle spasm. Mm-hmm. They prescribe something that is very addictive. Oh, wow. So I couldn't take it. Yeah. I took it one time, mm-hmm. and I ain't touch it again. Right. Because it had me looped out. Oh, my God. I have forgotten my name. And, <laughs> and, and, and I see where they say, that the medical field and the doctors uh-huh. are our worst enemies. Right, yeah. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? Because the type of medication it was, you could become addicted. Yeah. So I was sitting in there like, you know, I said, this isn't me. Feeling it. Feeling, feeling good. Feeling it. Feeling good. It was good, though. <laughs> and then the muscle lax, you know, it worked. Uh-huh, you know what uh-huh. I'm saying? And I'm back. I got a lot of calls and texts. Mwah, thank you so much. Mm-hmm. But your girl's a trooper, and uh, I'm well. That's good. It's good that you're well. Thank you so much. It was a show. We we gonna go in today because mm-hmm. we got time. Let's got go time in, today. y'all. Let's go in. And if it's something you want to do, okay. Oh, before I forget, mm-hmm. guess what comes on tomorrow? Oh, she's from the DMV. Oh yes, her name is Taraji P Henson. Yes, and what y'all. is it called, Karma? B- Black girls rock. Black y'all. girls rock. You guys know we rock. We're so we're just awesome people. Yeah, you just we can't are. Have a, to love we popping. Us. Yeah, we, we popping all the we time. We like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it comes on tomorrow. I think about eight ish or something like that. I can't wait to tune in because because she's she's an amazing host. Yeah, she is, and, and she's I just know a good person. Good. Yeah. So. Cookie yeah. though, I love that. I role. love I can't me some Wait cookie. until Empire starts back. Yes, that's my show. Yes. Are you a Power fan? I watched Power last night. I am a Power fan. You always watched it. Yes. Well, so, no, I just started watching it like a month ago, and I binge watched it. I had to download the Stars app. Well, I was talking to my sister yesterday, and she goes, "Why? I don't watch Power." You don't? No. I'm about to give you my password so you can catch up with us. Okay. It is good. How far behind am I? Four seasons, but it's all right. <laughs> Girl, I'm about to call it, take off from work to get it. You know, because I, everybody's talking about power, power, yes, power. I'm like, okay, it's good. I'm going to get into it. I don't know if these, have people watched it? I don't want to give no spoilers because people be coming after you with these spoilers. I don't know, but you know, his stuff was recently leaked or whatever. He did it. He put it out. Yeah. We know I mean, but it's his show, so you know. Yeah, whatever. he's <laughs> he's a boss, a right. serious boss. You right. know, he he's makes funny. stuff happen. Yeah. And um, I was watching this show the other night called Sign. Sign? Yeah. Rick Ross, The Dream, and Lenny S. That's Jay-Z's right-hand man. Oh, okay. I've never you seen You know, with some controversy recently, Rick Ross basically said he's n- he would never sign a female artist. Oh, I did hear that. I heard him say that he was like, you know... That he would be too busy trying to, you know, you yeah. know, you know, do the dang one thing. Y'all know. That brings me to one thing. We got to discuss, you know, some things we try to keep a sweet show, <laughs> you know, because it's all about the community. <laughs> but I could not resist. We have two memes. You want to go in on it? We have two memes. We're going to discuss this first meme okay. because it was hilarious. Right. Okay. This first one was, uh, we have the, the, um, the one that says, Man Crush Mondays. Oh, I, I, yeah. I want to I wanna see that one. Okay. Because I rolled. I literally hollered. Right. You got that one for me, Jacob? Yeah. yeah. I got to show you guys this one. This one. It was crazy. It's crazy. You see this mess? <laughs> it says, ain't been seeing too many Man Crush Mondays since school started. Guess they ain't helped with them school supplies. I thought that was her. There. <laughs> it's funny, but then it's sad. It's sad, it's sad too, sad. but it's you know, man crush Monday. I don't have right, a man right. crush Monday. Okay. I wish I did. I do have my eye on somebody. Who? I Is he a celebrity? No, absolutely to, not. To you though. I would never date a celebrity. <laughs> I need me a regular, regular regular Joe. guy. Yeah. Right. That likes to work, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. But I do have my eye on somebody. So, okay. you know, it might okay. you know, be a little something popping and it might not be. Right. It's all good. All right. You know. Of course, you're married. Right. I so am. I have to get to that status. I'm, mm-hmm. I've never been married. 
So I think I would be an amazing wife, though. Right, right. Yeah. So we, you gotta, we gotta chat. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you got time. You you're te- young. You gotta teach me how to get that ring. <laughs> 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 yeah shout out to all my married women out there hey, y'all done y'all. real demand hey. and did the daggone thing keep they say you're supposed to keep it hot fresh and cool right that's what they say <laughs> 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 Woo. yes so back to um the sign it's the okay rick ross stated he wouldn't sign a female artist right. because he would want to do the daggone thing but right. i want to know rick ross we love your music uh-huh. But you're not that attractive. Yeah, well, he, I'm sorry. He's large. I mean, but that's okay. <laughs> large? He's. I didn't want to say fat. Because, you know. <laughs> but I'm saying, <laughs> I got to look at something. You know, I want to see something. The right. eyes, the lips. Yeah. Just, you know, the hands, you know, the feet. Right. Something right. has to attract me. Mm-hmm. Now. Remember, he was trying to talk to Rihanna. I guess that didn't go too well. He did buy her some mm-hmm. gifts, and she got some gifts out of it. But other than that, it didn't go nowhere. <laughs> well, you know, we got to backtrack. We have to say, listen, Usher, we did go in Lord. originally on the first shot. But I'm telling you right now, Dear Yvette officially want to apologize. Because first of all, you never came out. With the herpes allegations. Right. You never made a statement, but you did come out recently and say, you're not paying nobody. Right. You know, people just coming out the woodwork. I know. And I must say, as I was watching that girl, what's her name, Quantasia? Quantasia. I should have known she was lying off the break. They said she was lying. Quantasia, yes. you a liar. Yes, Quantasia. Well, you know yes. she did say her her baby was by August Alcina. And August, like, I can't even see <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you know, and I love August Alcina, right. but he couldn't even see that. Right, right. You know. Right. So we apologize, Usher. We love you. We don't know if it's true or not, but what we do, what we would like to see, we do know what they're saying. We do. We do know you didn't respond. We do. But we, we want to ride with you, Usher. He's been on IG working out, though. He's been looking good. He better so. stop trying to flex. I don't know. I'm like. he hmm. need, You need to chill, Usher. Yeah. Just take a break. That's why you just got to start. When you get in a relationship, everybody just got to carry this piece of paper just like this. <laughs> Eyes married now, it, y'all. <laughs> and have it dated. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. You know, let me let me check your paperwork. Um, <laughs> we apologize. I, I want to get into this okay. really quick. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Love you. Oh, let me tell you this real quick. We got a dislike on our YouTube page. I'm pretty sure I saw it. And I want everybody Wait, to did- know. A dislike. Okay, to... we had like the last show okay. that we did. Somebody didn't like something. Okay. I always say your opinion matters here. All you're going to do is get love, respect, mm, lots of these. And we love you. Your opinion, We value your opinion. But don't hide behind that dislike button, boo-boo. Say what you didn't like. Who if you're going to be a bear, be a we grizzly, are. boo. Just tell us, how could we improve? You know, because we're not perfect. We just sat there and told you the right. president need to ask for help. Right. You know what I'm saying? Coming from a reality star. Yeah. But my thing is, don't hide behind the dislike button. We love your comments. We love you. Some of your comments. You know, we hope you're watching live right. every Monday. Yes. ListenVisionLive.com. It's the yep. Dirty Bad Radio Show. And uh, we value your opinion. That's the only way that we'll get better and better and better and better. Yes. You know. I mean, we want to improve. We're not competing with anybody. We're doing our thing. Right. We're sitting here talking to you today because it's laid back and chill today. Chill. Just the way we, I we like chilling. it. We but chilling. I got to talk about this because you know I got to say something. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. I want to talk about messy patties. And negative nicks on the job. Oh, on the job, Lord Girl, Jesus! Every job, there's a messy pad. You know who Messy Patty is? Yes. She come to work. She's so negative. She hate what she does. The only time she's happy around payday. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the only time you might. And see then it's only for a couple of days. Her step. Yeah. But and negative Nick. I should have took the other job, and I should have. <sighs> People, please. Right. There are people that do that do your, that would do your job with a smile on their face twenty four seven. If you are in a job that you don't like, leave. If you don't like the people, leave. Yes. If you don't like, you don't like the boss, 
leave yes you know nobody's holding you there on the job but what you do is bring the morale down for everybody yes, else and i'll be pissed off i usually smile a lot but you know i be you know giving right. that side eye thing like mm, you're at just work drama. more than your home usual you want to yeah. be in an environment that's yeah. not toxic if yeah. i don't like a job i leave because i got a temper and it's best for <laughs> me to go <laughs> so i leave if i don't like a yeah. job i leave yeah and nobody's holding you there right. you know we sure you got a mortgage to pay you got bills to pay but why make everybody else miserable right because they want everybody to feel like them you know it's just like listen this is it. This is all I'm going to say about it. Messy Patty and Negative Nick, if you don't like the job, go somewhere else. Okay? That's all to it. Come on, studio audience. Hey, go somewhere else. Don't get make lost. it bad for everybody else. I had to get that off. That, that was my pet peeve for this whole week. Okay. So, what else you got going on, girl? Oh, my goodness. You know, I got a little break today. So, you, you know, did? I jumped on social media. Okay. And... So, you know, what's her? Aniko Hart. She's yeah. expecting. I think they're having a little yeah, boy. Yeah, Kevin Hart's baby mom. Right, new right. wife. Yes. And okay. supposedly. Because he has two wives. Oh, yeah. Torrey yeah. is never going to drop that last name. No. And I, I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even book. I'd be Torrey Hart yes, to the death of Yes, yes. Yeah, so, so I call him Kevin Hart two wives. <laughs> But <laughs> Aniko, you know, the fans are saying that she's a mistress or whatever and that she mm-hmm. was the cause of their breakup, mm-hmm. the split of their marriage. And she clapped back and said, you know, Tori knows that we were, um, that they were separated. They were done. They were living in different homes. Mm-hmm. And she's not sure why, you know, she said that she was a mistress and all this stuff. And then Tori, you know, was very, I think upstanding and just yeah i saw that back and forth but i had thought they had made amends yeah we're co-parenting nicely and then nico just jumped to the left field it's probably those pregnancy hormones she probably said girl you gotta get them in check to lose that heart name and i want to lose it today but tori was very she was very classy very classy classy. she handled it very well yeah and i felt like it was no reason for a nico to bring her up yeah just like ignore these haters they're gonna hate on you boo let them yeah. Say the little stuff in their comments. Keep yeah. it moving. You know, Karma got some words for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Another thing, I know this happened probably a while ago, mm-hmm. but Ti and Tiny, do you oh. think they would get a get a divorce? No, no. I definitely don't. No. Yeah, because they recently were seen on vacation together. Yeah. I love them together. I do. I think they're an awesome I do. family. I love Just... Candy and Todd together. Yes. yes. I love Be- Beyonce and Jay. Uh, Beyonce and Jay Z. Another thing. How did Jay Z? Who cheats on Beyonce? Jay Z. <laughs> Lord. Four forty four. Now we know right. what went down in that elevator. Yes, sisters. The guy had your sister back because I know my yeah. sisters got my back. Yeah, I would have been in that elevator like Solange. Yeah, Beyonce was over there like this. Get him. Like she didn't see anything. Yes, that's how it would have been too. Um, like. Solange was going straight. DMV. Yeah, you gotta have your sister's back. And yeah. I love that album that he put out because he, you know, yeah. I think it's amazing when a man can admit that, that he's they, wrong. You yeah. know, they were wrong and they apologized because I believe that nobody is perfect. Right. But it just melted my heart. He said he begged for her back and, you know, right. he looked into his daughter's eyes. Right. And I just thought that was cool. Yeah, well, you know, men. They probably had some good makeup, something. I hope so. Ooh, that's the best, honey. Yes. You know, men mature <laughs> yeah. after us. Yeah, so they do. It must have took him a while, but at least he finally got together. <laughs> yeah. He finally got it together. He yeah. Take, yeah. He ain't wait till he was dead. He, he got admitted it, it. So I yeah. guess that was a start. But I love them together. And Candy and Todd, they just, whoo, they just, I love yeah. them. I'm glad she stuck with him and didn't like listen to her mom. Because <laughs> I love jo- Mama Joyce. Girl, but Mama but- Joyce got a man now. I saw him on IG. And he look young, Girl, Mama Joyce. Is, is she? Yeah, oh, cougar. Yeah, Mama Joyce was dancing and getting it in. Trust yes. and believe. So she don't him. care what uh-huh. Candy and Todd over there doing right over now. There. Trust and believe. She does not care what they're doing. But that's our chatterbox for right now. Cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be back. It's the Deary Vet Radio Show. <laughs> Listen vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. DC's number one recording studio. Oh, 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 oh. Listen, 
listen vision listen vision Listen vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. DC's number one recording studio. Oh, 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 Guys and dolls, welcome back to the Deary Bear Radio Show. We have a guest here today. Actually, she was supposed to come in to do some other things, but I said, Welcome to radio and welcome to broadcast. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome, super guys of the DMV. Woo! Super. 
Let me give you a little backdrop. Y'all know that's my favorite word. Let me give you a little backdrop on Super. Super hit me up. I believe it was DearYvetteSays.com. Yes, ma'am. So, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. She's so <laughs> sweet. She's so sweet. Bless her heart. Hi, studio audience. Hey, how you guys doing? She actually called me up and she goes, you want to tell me how our conversation went? Yes, um, I actually wanted to do an interview on Dear Yvette um, from some videos that I've seen and from a business card that I found. Um, and I actually want to be a host, and I knew that I had a lot to learn from Dear Yvette. So I just asked to come through and shadow and see what it is that she does, how does she do it, and where does she come from to get to where you're doing. What well, you're doing I now. thank you. When you called me, I probably talked to you to death, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> because, I probably did. <laughs> and I know you probably felt my smile over the phone and my heart because that's why I'm here. You know, I want to make a difference in whatever I could do. What you showed me is I've been on the air less than what four weeks this is our fourth show mm -hmm. and it's working all of my thing is to touch one person right and i'm so glad you're here i'm so happy that you want to choose <laughs> yes you know this is something that you want to choose to do and i told you we live to, near each other too yes. so you know <laughs> it, it was just written but tell us about what it is that you exactly want to achieve i know you were talking about video production hosting tell us and what's your passion what's your drive behind it so honestly, my passion and my love is for music. Mm -hmm. um, I It's for music. Mm -hmm. I sing, I wow. rap, and I dance. Okay. I kind of put a hold off on it, um, working in the corporate world and oh, cool. um, okay. doing, you know, just got to make money uh, right, right. Yeah. in this industry. So yeah. I have it's okay a, to have a thousand jobs, though. <laughs> yeah, yes, 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 I hold okay. a lot of hats. Pay the bills. I definitely do. Mm -hmm. um, and... I don't know. I just I don't I didn't really know whom to connect with, whom mm -hmm. to speak with, or where to start to get into the business without the schooling. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually went to school for IT and networking. I was oh wow, cool. there we go. you making big money. Yeah. Yeah. You making big money. It ain't it ain't go to where it was supposed to go. That's okay. Anywhere. Yeah, it's all about what you want. You know, you have to set the direction mm -hmm. and the goal. You have a lot of experience, and I am right. honored. Come in the show, Rose. Yeah. We are honored to help you out you. and i know you just was trying to intern and do a little something so i got an intern guys yes. and you know hopefully you're the next superstar out here and i'll be right, somewhere right. like hey go, go, can, go, we can be your go, entourage go, 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 go. You know, um, yeah i am so excited and you have something for us today i told you you gotta always be ready <laughs> yes honey talk to that mic and let it rip okay okay so I believe there's been a White House invasion overtaken by Satan, the Trump's administration. Let me give you some education right here from my basement on a brilliant political tactician. By the way, this is my inauguration edition. Lately, there's been too many altercations for alleviation due to imputation. New Haven protesters at the Trump inauguration, fearful of mass deportation. Demographically, Connecticut's towns were more likely to vote Trump if they had larger white populations, which targets no justification. Clearly, I'm just saying, for the words already spoken, I have a question. Why still and yet there's been no litigation by Trump has proven but Trump has proven allegations through leaked conversations with no explanations. Mm. This calls for serious investigation. What happened to the process of taking legal action? Mm. Where is where is the declaration of financial reparations? Mm -hmm. With Trump's Gee. nascent operation, no declarations of declaration. So before his dismission for accusations, fortifications are military constructions or buildings mm. designed for the defense of territories and warfare, and also used to solidify rule in a region during peacetime. Yes, I had to define that. Okay, I get it. So soldier citizens are protected. Victories for veterans. But what about our women? Or mm. us all in a whole nation. We must stop the rationalization. We don't need regression or recession. We need this. We need progression, that protection. We have learned the stature of this man through political situation, many problems, no solution in placement. The mm. emphasis should have been on the identification and mitigation of the population. There would be no need for ob for oblate. <laughs> for abolition of abortion if peace, security, and the alleviation mm -hmm. of poverty were high on the agenda. We are all called through the desolations of many generations. I beseech you all to have higher expectations. Whoa! Oh, 
Good right. job, Super. Good job. This is my intern. Yes, yes girl. So yeah. That is amazing. Did you just write that? I wrote it about oh. a month ago, and I just been adding stuff. It's like longer and longer. Oh, I just, good. It's good. I'm just so my feelings proud of Trump. you. It's wow, good. that's deep. Yeah. I, I got to go over there to get one. I'm by myself, <laughs> not in front of America. <laughs> That's really deep. And yeah. um, I just want to say to you that I am here for you. You now have a big sister. Awesome. And we're going to get it. You yes, are very talented. Yeah, so thank you. We hope you're a triple threat. You. Yeah. Like yep. once a week. You can come sing for us you. next time. Yeah. We're just going <laughs> okay. we, we gonna, we gonna to let you put it out there. Yeah. <laughs> so. We'll be right back. This is your girl Supo on the Dairy Bad yes. Radio Show. Call me the show. Hey. <laughs> Listen vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. DC's number one recording studio. Oh. One recording studio. Oh. Hey guys, welcome back to the Dear Yvette show. Welcome back. What we got right now? We got giveaways. Yeah. 
I know you guys love giveaways. I love free stuff. Who does not love free stuff? We do. We do. We absolutely do. So I need, I don't know what caller. I don't care what caller. Anybody. Anybody. I need you to call right now. Yes. 301-679-9159. Remember, we get paid to our subscriber earlier. Kimberly James, girl. Hey, Kimberly. Make sure you come get your bag. The number is 301-679-9159. You probably just moved into your own apartment. Yes. We have some appliances for you that could help you out. Yes. And also, when you call in, I need you to let me know where you are. Just give me your name. Call me right now. Give me your name. And I'm paying your rent for October. Well, what is it, down payment now? First month something? Yeah. Okay. All right. Call in, guys. Call I'm in. about to call in. Anyway, it's another mem you want to share with us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I promised one of my buddies that we would talk about this mem. Okay. <laughs> Do I need to read this for you I guys? Think you or could. Did? Okay. I think you should. All right. All right. All right. It says, Good. Oh, 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 oh. we got a call in. We got a call in. Oh, let's take this call in. Hello? Oh, uh, wait a minute now. Oh, wait. It was oh. off speaker. Oh, off speaker. You, you right. And I think I hung the people up. They'll call back. Oh, I'm calling back. Hold on, y'all. Y'all know this live TV show and it's Dave show, so I can do what I want to do. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you said take it off speaker. Now I'm answering it. Hey, the, welcome to the Dear Evad radio show. Who's this? This is who? Monique. Monique? The girl. Hi, Monique. How are you? I'm good. How are y'all? We're, We're great. good. It's good to hear you. I, could, I, I can't really. Can you hear? I love it. That was on there earlier. She did a really good job. Oh, turn right okay. Hold on for a second, Monique. Can you hear me now? That's perfect. Perfect. Where are you from, Monique? Miami. Hey! What's up? I wow. love Miami. You're watching us from the MIA. Hey, we're do- we have a giveaway right now, Monique. And we were hoping that you probably could use some appliances. Yes. Did you just move, Monique? Oh, we lost her. We dropped. Damn. Whoops. Did I say that? It's okay. <laughs> anyway, Monique, we're going to get back to you. Just call the line again, okay? You have the giveaway, Monique. We have you. Yes. Just call me back after the show at 8 o'clock. Call 8 me back o'clock. at 301 679 9159. This is for you, Monique, in Miami. We're going to pay your rent Miami. in October. Yay, guys. Woo! That's what the Jerry Vet Show does. We yes. give back. You know, I love it. Yes. Okay, she's going to call us back. But now back to what you wanted to share with us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It mm. says, good pussy comes with a smart-ass mouth, <laughs> delayed text replies, demands attention, a stink-ass attitude, and three exes who refuse to let go. You know what? I Can anybody agree. speak to this? Come Can we get an amen? Can we get an amen? Can I we get an agree. amen? You know yes. why? That last part, them three exes, uh-huh. like, Three of my exes, you know, they all, wherever they are, no matter what relationship they right. in, they always call me. Coming back, coming what back. What you do? It's nothing sexual. Not, I'm just checking on you. Why? I dreamed about you. Now. I'm like, just did you to check sure on you me in a relationship? Like, you might have not been my ex. E X. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It's a reason why we're right. ex. Right. You know, sometimes I get to the point why I change my number. Yeah, you gotta block them you know, people. I don't mind still being, you know, making sure you are right and this and that, but I've moved on. Right. And I don't need you to keep checking on me. Right. But I got to agree with that mem. That mem is true. It gets you stalkers, guys. I stalkers. do have an attitude. <laughs> I do. You know, most of us women do. It's, it's in a good way. It's a positive attitude. It's a positive, positive attitude. attitude. We'll go with that. Right, right. But I love the memes that they have on yeah. Facebook and IG. I'm here for it. Right. I absolutely right. love it. Oh, I'm so sad that Moni couldn't see her gifts. And, you know, but I know she's going to call She'll call back at back. eight. Call back Girl, we got you. And send yes, your boo. We got to get 
get to Miami. We did. Thank we you, did. Miami, for watching. We a girl's trip. We definitely have to get a to girl's Miami. Trip. A girl's trip. Like that movie, Girl's Trip. Yeah, $100 million, girl. Yes. Oh, the first comedy of this right, year. Right. And just great stars. Great yes. stars. Oh, MC. You see that little chocolate guy from <laughs> Queen Sugar. <laughs> Lord Jesus. <laughs> it's like, okay. You know who I really like? Tiffany Haddish. I think she's yeah, going to be Yeah, she is so huge. awesome. I love her. She's going to be really, really, really huge. Look at that And cast. she's been wow. around for a long time. Yeah, she yeah. has. Queen Latifah. You know, uh, that's you know the I love the queen. right there. The queen. Queen Latifah. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Oh, my goodness. And the the actual producer, uh, mm-hmm. Will Packard. Mm-hmm. African American. Right. It's amazing. Give it up. Yes, guys. Yes. We're doing it. We are. We're doing dollars. it. We are doing wow. it. Okay, guys, we're going to move right along. Mm -hmm. We have a young lady by the name of Tanisha. Now, you know, Super was here. Okay, but Tanisha is here. Come on up, Tanisha. Let's go. Yes, Tanisha. Welcome to the Dairy That Radio Show. Welcome. How are you? Thanks for having me. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You know, each and every week we showcase give everybody an opportunity to do something on the dairy vet show that's right. what we do we actually get back in right. any little way we can mm-hmm. whether it's giving you something that we have or sharing something or sharing something or watching you put something together right what you want to share with us today tanisha well well i just want to thank you guys for having me oh today. no problem oh, no thank problem. you so much and no today i just wanted to talk about um not a bit about being a being about that life, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. I'm so 33 good. now, and sometimes, you know, in our 20s, mm-hmm. we do things differently. Mm-hmm. Yes. How many of y'all know that your body changes? Exactly. Day, it you know really what I'm does. saying? Yes. My body changes. I feel exactly. like I got fat so overnight. 20s, I was a different person, mm-hmm. but in my 30s, you kind of like embrace who you are and mm-hmm. know who you are, and you get to know the Lord, so mm-hmm. right. everything is good, so... You know. So you're happy? You're, I'm are happy. you in love? Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. You know, what else you want to share with us? Um, just you got a point for us today. I do. Okay. I want to hear okay. you know, for y'all I am so, loving this oh, poetry. Yes. 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 I'm loving it too. And it's something that I wrote for a girls movement. Mm-hmm. And it was for girls getting together, mm-hmm. no cursing, wow. you know, mm-hmm. and just... Giving back and just saying that we don't have to be about that life right. that we right. used to be mm-hmm. into. And just, you know, being ladies, being positive, and mm-hmm. just, you know, embracing each other right, as right. women. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. they always say that women can't get along, but I don't think so. Yes, yeah, we, right. can. Yeah, we, we can. We can get along. Yeah. We can hang along. We can hang along. That's right. Yeah. Everybody should want each other to win. Exactly. Right. You know, yes. no matter yes. who it is. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I want you to win. Yes. Right. I ain't going to throw you no shade. It's That's enough for us in all to eat, honestly. Yeah. yeah. There's enough bread yeah. out here. Let's get right, it. Right, right. You know, we'll be right back. Tanisha's going to perform on the big stage. Yes. With her point, guys. This is Dirty Vet Show on listenmusiclive.com. Right <laughs> One recording studio. Oh, 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 One recording studio. Okay, everybody, this is just a little piece that I wrote. Um, I hope y'all like it. Here you go. Oh, 
It's my turn. My name is Nisha. Glad to meet you. And no, I don't drink, but I will have a lima reader. And I'm not about that life. But in my 20s, I was trying to go. Now my... Mm, mm. Now I'm in my 30s, that little kid just like a sushi roll. Used to wear my hair long and pile like cookie. Then it got hot, big chop, boo-boo kitty. Connections in my city stand behind me like Verizon. Riding past the harbor just to broaden my horizons. I really love water, I could live up on an island. When you're doing good, never leaving you alone. Deny you and crucify you. Try to bury you with stones. Put thorns up in your crowns, but never ever take your throne. This a big girl gang going harder, going home. And not about that life, but I'm all about living it. Eh? I was so nervous, y'all. I'm so serious, but I thank y'all for seeing me. Next time it's going to be better. Hey, give me that story. Give it up once Woo! again for Tanisha, guys. Good job, It's all Tanisha. good. It takes yes. a lot to get in front of people. It does. And it just takes a lot to right. do that. We I mean, but as long, long as you try. As long, long as you try. As long you, as you that try. That was really, really good. Right. You know, we love you here. That's all our time. Yes, it's ah. our time. <sighs> See you guys next Monday. We love you guys at the Dairy Vet yes. Radio Show. Don't forget to log on to DairyVetSays.com. Send yes. an email, Yvette, at DairyVetSays.com. Yep. Don't forget to watch us. Yes. We love you. Monique, yes. call me so you can get your stuff, girl. Don't forget, Monique. We love you. Call me the shell. We call out. Call